welcome back to another episode of Kikawishka Plays Minecraft and I am in a much better mood today. I had some Minecraft therapy the other day and did some building and just chilling out, relaxing, doing some stuff on this world and I think it's done the trick. So um, I'm going to give you a quick tour of what I've done and then we might do some exploring today so we'll see how we go so i finished up the little pathway well not completely finished it's got a lot of tweaking to do but it is in a very usable state at the moment this is the very basic bridge i need to come and sort of pretty it up a little bit but we can do that at a later stage and then I think I need to define this a little bit more. This is the second bridge we built. In their Minecraft therapy sessions. <laughs> and then this is what I did off camera afterwards. I chopped some trees down. I still need to do something here because this is, this is not good. Going back up it's not so much fun really basic horrible bridge there which needs to be um, uh, purified because that's a word yeah this needs to be fixed too but it's all like usable like it's in a usable state I'm not lying it's just not overly pretty at the moment oh oh bugger <sighs> uh, hang on. there we go this is a much nicer bridge. I like this one. So, and then we got this one up here into the treetops. And I thought the safest way to get about in a roof forest is on the roof. So we have this little area over here. Oh, gold leg. And I think I need a slower horse. <laughs> this one's going to get me into trouble. Um, so yeah, we've got, we've got it lit up. And we've got little areas up and down. And then this is the second plains biome. And it's got lots of horses in it. And I am very excited because there's those. And then there's more over here. Yay! Actually, I have a clip of me discovering these horses on my journey out the other day. Um, so I actually, I'm like, oh, hello. He's like, take me home. Oh, I want that one. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll play the clip of me discovering some of the horses. So take a look at that. Okay, so I've decided to go out exploring a little bit off camera just to do some of the basic um, reconnaissance. And I thought, ah, oh, well, I'll start recording if I find anything interesting. And look what I found. Horses! Yay! So I was actually smart enough that I brought a saddle. Just in case I found some horses. And um, I did. So let's go check them out. And see if we can find a good one. I think we found our mount. <laughs> well, one of them anyway. I will probably come back. <laughs> mark these coordinates and get a whole heap of them the more the merrier but this one here there he is oh he's so cute he is going to be called Apollo after my big black horse <laughs> I own horses in real life and I have a big black horse called Apollo and so I think it's only fitting that I have one in Minecraft as well. <laughs> okay, so now that we're out here, I was the whole whole point of being out here was to do some exploring, to get some horses, and to go faster travel around the place. Um, oh, here's where I got over here. Oh, zombie! Is uh, where I found the black horse. Whoa! Damn it! I'm so, oh baby horses! Oh, they're so cute. 
cute. Oh, oh I want to take them home. Oh, oh, okay. This. I need all the horses. Like, I need to take them all home. I should just make my stables out here. I might just do a little bit of a time lapse while exploring, unless we come across anything uh, overly interesting or I die. Um, but I'll keep recording just in case because uh, there is a high likelihood we're going to get ourselves into trouble today, <laughs> which is always good viewing. Oh, baby bunnies. So cute. Okay, here we go. Oh, and speaking of something interesting, we have a village. Which means lots of work for me trying to secure these guys. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> okay, okay. So, let's do some work before we get inundated with zombies here. Save some of these villagers' lives. I might do a little bit of this work off camera. Oh, see, that's what we want. And we might even transport some of these guys eventually back home. Do some, set up some villager trading stuff. So I'm just going to do some reinforcing and I shall be back in a minute. And welcome back. I have done a little bit of work off camera. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> I have fenced this whole entire area, torched it all up so all my villagers will be very very safe from zombies and I'll be safe in here as well with them. So I will show you what I, else I have done. I'm just going to put torches everywhere so hopefully nothing can spawn in here. I've been in here for a few nights now and nothing spawned inside which is great. Now, in here, I have some hostages. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are the ones I want to keep and uh, will may possibly send back to my base if they work out any good. Now, we've got here is the librarian. We have a paper trade and we have efficiency 5 already, although it is quite heavy on the emeralds, but that's okay. As you can see, just from some of the stuff I brought with me. I've got eight emeralds already. That's because this guy. Rotten flesh trade. Actually, there. Oh, and a redstone trap. Oh, lapis. Cool. There is another cleric around here. The cleric? Yeah. Uh, I might have to see if he does a better trade than 37. Uh, a farmer. He's just got a string trade. Um, there is a reason I'm keeping this guy for the string tree. Um, so, but yeah, uh, spoilers, more about that later. And I thought I'd better keep a leather worker because I've got plenty of cows and it's like emeralds for nothing, really. Um, and yeah, he's going to open up some leather armor. Oh, see, here's another one. Oh, is that? I want this guy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ten. Ten. Oh, these guys are better. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's see if we can trap him instead. Um... Sorry, mate. You're out. Coercing villagers into captive little stalls. <laughs> To keep them safe so I can trade with them yeah this is uh, it's a little bit out there so I was thinking maybe for the rest of this episode I might build a nether portal and link it up to the other one so we've got a bit of a nether hub going 
So it'll provide faster travel. See, I have my horsey. This was the brown one that was looking at us with the, the oh, take me home eyes. So he's actually quite good. I like him. He's going to stay. I've got to think up a name for him. <laughs> okay, I think up on this hill might be nice looking over the town, but outside of the town limits. <laughs> I think that's cool. Okay. So let's. Mm. I'm thinking three by three again. Cool. Okay, so now we need accordance. Oh. oh, this portal. Okay, so there's the coordinates. And so what we'll do is we'll open this portal. We'll go into the nether. It'll probably connect up to the other one unless we're too far away, in which case we'll, it'll create its own portal and then we've got problem solved. But if it links up to the other one, we then need to dig a tunnel to the, these coordinates divided by eight, which I have just done on a calculator because my brain doesn't work that fast. Um, it's minus 213 in the X and minus 35 in the Z. And it doesn't matter about the Y. So let's get going and see what happens. Ta-da! did create another one so where are we cool okay we were far enough out that it made another portal so we now just have to go back to the other coordinates now So that's nice, fairly slow, we'll be safe eventually, safe way of travelling back and forth between here and the village. Um, a good way to transport stuff, I might even put a rail line, I'm not sure. I want to make it big enough so that uh, I can take horses back and forth, except if my only saddle over there. Uh, anyway, let's dump some of this stuff off, clear some inventory, and then I've got a couple more things to show you. Okay, so I did some caving off camera. I did quite a bit, collected a lot of resources, I needed a few levels for some enchanting, that type of stuff. And um, I was just going through some of the caves around this area. This is one of the ones I hadn't explored. And you can see I haven't explored very far. Oh, hello chicken. Just this. <gasps> My first spawner of the series. And it's a spider spawner. Not the one I would have chosen. Um, but hey, we got given it, so we shall make a grinder out of it. I haven't looted anything yet, but here we go. We got some name tags and some armor couple of records. Cool. 
that's all we have time for for this episode i'm pretty sure we've probably gone over again but (laughs) that's what editing is for but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um stay tuned next week for it'll be a a semi-tutorial on how to build a spider grinder so yeah have fun and i shall see you next time bye bye (laughs) 